hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will be adding the respawn for the opponent cars okay first of all let me select all of these three opponent cars and create an empty parent for them and then let's name this as opponents or opponent cars okay because i want the hierarchy to be clean as possible all right so after that open up the opponent car script and let's do it right here create a header by the name of respawn and first of all we're gonna create a float which will be respawn timer it will be zero by default then let's create another uh, let's actually make this public constant float and this is going to be by the name of respawn time threshold okay and this is going to be 10 by default then if we get inside the update method okay right here first of all we're going to check uh, if the opponent car has has not reached the destination within the specific time and that specific time is 10 seconds or you can say 15 seconds according to your uh, waypoints okay you can get right here click on the opponent cars okay so that we zoom in as you can see our waypoints are uh, really close to each other as you can see okay they are really close but right here we have this longer uh, waypoint as well okay so it will take at least uh, seven to eight seconds to reach this point okay but for safe keep keeping i added 10 seconds okay so within uh, if the car doesn't reach the next waypoint within 10 seconds it means that the car is stuck somewhere on the track okay or not on the track okay and when the car is not on the track we're gonna uh, respawn the car back on the previous waypoint and then from here the car can start driving back again okay so right here we're gonna check if the car doesn't reach the destination okay so we will save the destination uh, reached is not true if this is the case then we're gonna start the respawn timer we will say time dot delta time and when it is start then after this uh, we're going to check if the respawn timer exceed the threshold which is 10 seconds and then after that we're going to respawn the car at the destination okay so respawn timer is greater than or equals to the respawn time threshold then we're gonna respawn the car okay so in order to respawn it after the drive method right here let's create a private void by the name of respawn at destination in here first of all when we respawn the car back again we're gonna reset the respawn timer to zero after that we're gonna set the current speed of the car to five okay and then we're gonna respawn the car at the destination okay which will be our waypoint so we're gonna say transform dot position will be equals to the destination okay and then the destination uh, reached will be equals to false okay then right here let's call that method respawn at destination so this is a if condition if the car doesn't reach the destination what if the car reaches the destination then when the car reaches the destination we will set the respawn timer to zero okay 
because the car is moving perfectly fine so we don't want to respawn the car back again so this is pretty much it for the respawning before going and checking it out let's make this uh, respawn timer public as well save the script get back right here we can now see the respawn timer and everything okay and now what we're gonna do is i'm gonna select the first opponent car and start the race i mean the game so as you can see there is the car so let uh, move the car i mean let it move till this waypoint okay and now let me move this car back again for example somewhere right here and as you can see when this uh, gets equals to 10 as you can see the car is respawn on that position again if you move it again as you can see the respawn timer is right there and as you can see it is being respawn on that point back again okay and now as you can see whenever it reaches the uh, waypoints the respawn timer get reset it okay and when it doesn't reach the waypoint as you can see the respawn timer is being going and when it becomes 10 the car will respawn automatically as you can see the car is being respawn on that exact waypoint okay so uh, this is just a simple way to respawn cars and if you like it let me know and if you have any suggestion for respawning the car do let me know as well and now with this turn let's end this video right here